Hi guys, the DUP have to be one of, if not the dumbest or most myopic political parties in Europe, if not the world. They were warned about Brexit and how it could undermine Northern Ireland's place in the United Kingdom, and they ignored those warnings. They were told about the potential loss of jobs in Northern Ireland, and they said that it was a price worth paying to leave the European Union. So when Krishna Guru Murthy from Channel 4 News interviewed Ian Paisley Jr. asking if he had any Brexit regrets, what do you think he had to say? The problem is Brexit, isn't it? I mean, you know, do you ever find yourself, re you know, regretting having backed Brexit, which has backed you into this corner? Well, there's, there's a number of things I do regret. I'll tell you, I, I don't regret voting against the Belfast Agreement, and I don't regret voting for Brexit. What I do regret is the outcome and the way in which it was handled in terms of the negotiation process. I mean, three years and more to leave whenever we voted way back in 2016. That negotiation pro process was tedious, it was wrong and it failed. And that's why we're trying to pick up the pieces post the process of extracting ourselves. It didn't have to be that bad. It, it didn't have to be that bad. It didn't have to take three years. You would imagine somebody in Northern Ireland would have understood the problem of Brexiteers in Great Britain ignoring Northern Ireland. Because that's what happened. There was this back and forth going on for three years. Okay, what's going to happen? What well, you know, the negotiations didn't really begin until 2019. But at that stage, it was, okay, what's going to happen with Northern Ireland? The Irish government was asking the UK government. Uh, <laughs> people who voted to remain were asking the UK government, what's going to happen with Northern Ireland? And the EU was asking, what's going to happen with Northern Ireland? And the response from Brexiteers was, stop talking about Northern Ireland. It doesn't have to be an issue. It will be sorted out. Stop talking about it. Stop scaremongering. Stop trying to stop Brexit. Do you remember those back in those days? Stop trying to stop Brexit. And of course, those who wanted uh, to leave without a deal or those who just wanted to leave were kept banging on about, you know, why do we have to talk about Northern Ireland? Northern Ireland is not an issue. And you would imagine somebody who was from Northern Ireland would have something to say about that. But the DUP had diddly squat to say about that. It could have been an awful lot better. Other senior unionists, as you know, I mean, are starting to say, you do need to think again. I mean, Lord MP, Reg MP as he was, you know, is saying, is pointing out, look, Sinn Féin have always said Northern Ireland is a failed political entity and you are proving them right. You are helping the Republican cause and accelerating a united Ireland. Well, well I, I don't believe we are accelerating a united Ireland. We're part of the fifth the sixth largest economy of the world, where we are, with a, even with all these problems of friction in our internal market, we still have full employment. We still, as an economy, are doing exceptionally well. Investment is increasing. Sorry, is he talking about Great Britain or is he talking about Northern Ireland? Because if he's talking about Northern Ireland, that's because of the Northern Ireland Protocol, the protocol that his party is dead set against. Like, the DUP are always on the wrong side. When it came to the Good Friday Agreement, they were against that, and it's proved to be a success. It has had a lot of problems, yes, but it's much better than what came before. The DUP were against that, and proven wrong. The DUP were pro-Brexit, and are still pro-Brexit, and they've been proven wrong. Brexit is not good for Britain. It's not good for Northern Ireland. And I've said this before, Brexit is bad. Brexit is the fire. The Northern Ireland Protocol is the fire extinguisher. It's better not to have a fire. There are still problems for Northern Ireland businesses. They have, uh, in some cases, they're struggling to get access to the workers they need. Not to the same extent as Great Britain is, but there are problems in Northern Ireland because of Brexit. But once again, how can you stand there and, and pretend that these problems don't exist? It's complete disconnect from reality, but this is the DUP and they have painted themselves into a corner where now they're rejecting the protocol and they're rejecting the idea of getting back into the executive. 
They want to veto that. They want to stop the executive from operating. And it is playing into the hands of Sinn Féin because Sinn Féin would point and say, look, what's the point in having a devolved government if it's not working, if it's not actually doing anything? You know, Northern Ireland is a failed state. They're pointing at it and saying, look, when you have the likes of the DUP pulling the plug because they don't get their way, that is a failed state. The majority want it to work. A small minority don't want it to work. But as is always the case with the DUP, it's the case of the, the tail wagging the dog. It was when the, the Conservatives were relying on them for the support. And it's the same when it comes to Northern Ireland. You need the DUP on board. And the DUP have thrown their toys out of the pram over the protocol. They don't want to go into government with Sinn Féin when Sinn Féin select the First Minister. They've always been against the idea of going into government with Sinn Féin until they've been dragged kicking and screaming or where they see some sort of political opportunity in doing so. The DUP are not honest brokers. The DUP don't care about the people of Northern Ireland. They care about power and sometimes money. That's their game. Maybe they're holding out for more cash from this time Rishi Sunak. And then they'll go in. But it's not because they care about Northern Ireland. It's not because they care about the people of Northern Ireland. Or care about operating a stable government. They betted the house, the farm on Brexit and they lost. And instead of accepting that and moving on like adults. No, they're playing, like, playing around like children. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.